that sells porridge that has porridge, not wheat porridge, not you Britannians out there. Porridge does not equal to wheat porridge. Porridge in Malaysia means rice porridge. I don't need to say rice porridge. I only need to say porridge and that's about it. So I don't need to clarify myself, but I will always like remind you guys. Britannians out there uh, with your Emperor Charles from the anime code Gay Ass which is going to come out with a third season or something like that after the con super conclusion of the second season with the Leluc Leluc or well, I don't know what's his family name Leluc La Britannia I think I'm not sure I can't remember it's been many years since I watched that anime which is very good R1 is season 1 R2 is season 2 so go watch it it's awesome it's already concluded he died a spoiler alert sorry about that but if you haven't watched it uh, there's no point in reviving it. If he brings back the character, then what's the point? The the impact, the full impact of the second season is, or R two is, Kapush. Yeah, there's no point. Why why bring back the second season? This is a this is the problem with. Okay, this is another video already. Besides cooking, there's a rant. What's the point of actually diminishing the the memory of 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 the anime, which was awesome? Back then, and suddenly you're just like digging, digging out the fucking corpse of a well-respected corpse, a mummified corpse, which is still having its youthful properties because it was embalmed properly by digging out the organs and uh, digging out the. I think I do they take out the fat? Take out the fat from the breast if it's a girl. Make sure the vagina is well lubricated with KY jelly, stuff like that. It's very important when you mummify something like. If it's Stalin was mummified or Lenin was mummified, they botched the, the job. So they fucked it up and it became a real mummy. Instead of being something like from Madame Tussaud's Wax of Horror Museum in London. So those look great. They look pretty. They are made of wax. But I'm talking about real corpses. The dead vessel of these evil people like Lenin and... And uh, what's his face? Stalin. Asshole. Stalin's an asshole. Um, there were other mummified I mean, chances to mummify people like Hitler was was not I mean you can't do that because uh, he was burnt maybe I'm not sure cops he was burnt maybe he's in Brazil and I don't know it's uh, stupid for him to actually kill himself and burn his own body what if there was a chance to become a zombie weapons if he wants to be a vampire you burn the body as game over. There's no like eternal life as a zombie by burning one's own corpse. Dumbass. Wait, <coughs> talking about anime. So don't dig out the bloody great looking corpse if if a female then if you have necrophilia tendencies you tend to love to like fuck them in the whatever orifice. Okay, two animes, for example. I forgot what's the name. Code Gays is one of them. Do not fuck with Code Gays. Gay ass because gay ass would fuck your ass. Please. I'm not gonna watch. Um, maybe I'm curious, I'll go and watch. But the memory of R1 and R2, Code Gays, gay ass. Not, nothing to do with R1, uh, R2D2. That Star Wars thing, no, nothing to do that. <sighs> so good, it was so such a great anime, and suddenly you want to do a sequel to it. What the fuck? And I saw that some of the cinematics. Maybe they're going to bring back Lelouch of Britannia, or was it Le Parangor La Clique Double? That's his uh, full name. Huh? Is it Lelouch of La Pralehe don't bring him back, don't say, don't, don't retcon it saying, oh, that's not him, it's actually somebody else. It's his tailor's handmade, hand job, Swiss servant from, from Switzerland. Don't do that. Don't like say, oh, it was, it's, he, Lelouch of La Parabla, is still alive because that is his triple body person. Du not double body, but triple quadruple body 
bodyguard that masqueraded as Lelouch of La Bedellera and that's why he's still alive, he's still behind the scenes, he's the he's the shadow broker, something to do with Mass Effect. He's a shadow broker for the world. Ta-da! Reveal! Third episode of Vroom! I'm alive! That's my quadruple bodyguard who had plastic surgery a la Metal Gear Solid 5. The return of the condom heroes. Yep. Hideaki Anno is gonna name the Metal Gear Solid 6 Return of the Condom Heroes. Okay. Uh, chances of that happening is as 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 slow as me getting a blowjob from a 16 year old girl. <laughs> I should not say that. But never mind. Uh, 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 enough of uh, Code Gay Ass. Do not fuck with Code Gay Ass, okay? Do not fuck with Code Gay Ass because the gay ass will fuck with your ass anally. Subjectively, literally, figuratively, fuckability. <sighs> so another example of a great anime which ended properly was what you might call it. Um, what's that anime where they fly around, right? Back in the two thousands, it's by Gonzo, if not mistaken. It's use using those uh. Uh, CGI, you know, I forgot the name, but the soundtrack was awesome because it was like techno. Da, da, da. I don't know how, how to sing it. <coughs> it's something to do with flying ships. I think it's called Wan Ships, V A N S H I P. There were two uh, heroes uh, who are couriers and they get <coughs> got embroiled in the, the called chess like war between the higher-ups who are living in the sky and the low-ground fellas who are the humans. It was an awesome 22 episode, if I'm not mistaken. Soundtrack was good, animation was good, story was good. It was a heartfelt story. And there was a badass ship with a badass protagonist a la Captain Harlock, something like Captain Harlock, with a very long gun as a walking stick. So they took a lot of uh, liberties or inspiration from Captain Harlock and the Queen of a Mizzillion years. So, what's the name? I, I leave it in the comments below. I forgot what's the name of that show. That show was so, so awesome. For the life of me, I forgot the name. I think it's... it's uh, that, I mean, it ended properly and suddenly about one or two years ago, it came out with a second season but I don't think it involves the the cur current cast or I mean the past cast maybe they do cameos and that's all there's a new new uh, hero I think it's called the wings of something something mm. Mm. Anyway, I did not I did not watch that I don't have the time to watch it maybe I'm curious actually to see what the universe is like after the destruction of the queen, the big airship. <coughs> but some anime, I would like to see the continuation of some. Such as, I forgot what's the name, but this anime is something to do with robots. It has a funny name. Ergo Proxy, yes, yes. Ergo Proxy is the anime. A lot of people say it's overrated because it's full of like ideas and philosophical shit. So, Ergo Proxy is one of those anime that you should not watch. It in Japanese or the real voice actor actors from Japan. I don't care about the Americans whether they suck or not, dubbed or not. Dub is the version for Ergo Proxy, although I watch it in subbed version. Reading the titles, and I can uh, I can tell you that it's better to just hear what the words are, even though the animation is okay, it's all right. But you still have to what want to enjoy the visuals. You know the animation. You read the damn thing down here. You are missing everything else on the screen. It's like looking at the pussy 
or vagina for the forest of pubes. So you're missing the pussy, the clitoris, which is a uh, like a treasure that you need to find, and you have to find it in the forest of pubes. Missing the clitoris in a, in a sea of pubic forest. Yeah, I think that's the saying. What was I saying? Ah, yeah. Uh, ergo proxy was something, or is something that you should watch it dubbed. I do not know how sucky the American voice actors are or were, but there was a lot of uh, words being said and the text down there. And some suddenly there's also those uh, suburbs they put in the bullet points at the end of the show saying this philosopher said this said this said this and wow oh my god it's like full of full of uh, philosophy and double talk it's a lot of uh, terms there a lot of things that you need to like know of in terms of philosophy you know who said who diogenes or whatever blah 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 all the greek mythological creatures like diogenes not sure whether it's real or not but if his story is Real, I mean, if the story is being told until now, then mo most likely it's real. Like the stories of that science fiction, uh, science fiction novel called the Bible. Yeah, it's very popular. It must be real because everybody knows about it. Yeah, it's a, uh, it's a great story. The Bible, kinda. The author is like, uh, what's his, what's her face? Stephanie, Stephanie Meyer, is it? That did the Twilight series very pretty girl i wouldn't mind at all but the twilight sucks balls i think so the the bible the story should be intriguing but the how they worded it is just sucks balls and makes you want to like turn a new leaf and sleep so a good proxy i want to know what the fuck happened after the cliffhanger yeah, the ending is a fucking cliffhanger, even though you get satisfied, but you want to know more. It's like you're gagging for that last drop of sperm from that cock. If you're a girl or if you're a gay guy, uh, uh, you're squeezing all, and you're, you're, you're touching the balls, trying to like uh, encourage the last drop of... You're trying to encourage the factory of... Sp the sperm factory to produce that last little wriggly tadpole-like thing into the shaft and go into that liquid protein thing that tastes like something that I do not know of because I'm not gay, I'm now suck a dick, now tasted sperm. Maybe I tasted some of my sperm because when I play with my wife, Susan, say hi, Susan. Hi! Hi! Uh, and... <coughs> Nothing comes out. Oh, what was I saying that? I'm sleepy. Fuck. So... Wow, the ending, who cliffhanger, suddenly his eyes, suddenly a hero, it was a dream, you know, a nerd, suddenly he opens up his eyes, glowing, what will happen, and the, and the, not, the, not the enemy, the original settlers or Earthians, Earthians, the whole world is better now, so they're coming back, they think that the, I don't know what, what Vincent's character is, maybe the, persons who will destroy all these super beings and get rid of everything they thought that they are all wiped out already so they're coming back and suddenly Winston is fucking angry holy shit what kind of cliffhanger is this leave it they left it and asked, had, had us want more I want to fuck the ass out of Winston hashtag no homo so there's these things Just don't fuck with the past.